And this is an interesting vignette because it's kind of shocking to us, but of course probably just some students playing with designs, but the fellow said he walked into a room one day and there's a scale model of the whole of Cambridge. And it's very plain that all the, all the pieces of wood that were red were owned by Harvard and the ones that were blue were owned by MIT. And he says, Bill, there's a dotted line running down the middle of Prospect Street and River Street, red on one side and blue on the other. Mm -hmm. And so it's like they're planning <laughs> to divide the whole city up. <laughs> But it was probably some design school student's project, but still, it's the kind of thing that people always think. You know, people are always accused of being paranoid about the power of these institutions, but you know, there's hardly, I could probably count on one, fingers of one hand the number of businesses in Central Square that are still here that were there when I came. And all the factories and businesses that were here, they're all gone, but Harvard and MIT are still here and still growing. And uh, no matter who runs them or who comes and goes, the institutions live on, you know, like the Commonwealth lives on, we pass as shadows. Bad uh, old joke I used to use, but I would often say that uh, if it weren't for Harvard and MIT, Cambridge would just be another older urban northeastern city on a river. Uh, it's clear that uh, MIT and, 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 and Harvard's presence have just enormous impacts on, on the city, positive impacts. Uh, you know, there, there are very few negative. Do they, are there demands on the housing market by some of the graduate students? Yes, but that's going to happen in any college town. If you're going to be a college town and deal with that issue, let the colleges be Harvard and MIT. Cambridge is Cambridge in good part because of institutions like MIT and Harvard. And 100 years of MIT, I think, obviously, look at Kendall Square. I mean, Kendall Square has grown because of the MIT connection and influence. Um, it has grown in a big way. It's provided jobs. It's provided great financial resources to the community. It's provided quality construction. It's now addressing you know issues that are uh, at the at the heart of a lot of neighborhood concerns, so I think you know it's provided uh, uh, educational opportunities for people all around the world, as well as many Cambridge residents. It's a center of research. It's a center of ideas. So uh, you know, uh, MIT Cambridge wouldn't be Cambridge, you know, without an MIT. And that you know that that's uh, I'm not saying that uh, in any way other than to say I think that's the truth that we are lucky as a community to have MIT, and I think MIT is lucky as an institution to be situated in a city like Cambridge that thinks about, you know, uh, the management of its city and the welfare of its residents uh, in a way that will challenge the university.